Lahrira is so popular during Ramadan that two to three hours before breaking fast, you can smell it in the air and you can hear the pressure cookers whistling almost in every single household. The prices of tomatoes become public news during Ramadan. And again, you might be saying, well, at the end of the day, this is just a tomato soup. And I wanted to say that Lahrira, for us Moroccans, is way more than that. To make Lahrira, you need to soak overnight 100 grams of chickpeas and 100 grams of green lentils in hot water. We will need a pressure cooker or an instapot, 200 grams of lean beef cut into small cubes, some beef bones. Most of the time you can get them for free and they are an absolute game changer. Two teaspoons of smin or ghee, turn the heat to medium high and then add two tablespoons of olive oil. Sear the meat and bones for five minutes and then add one and one third tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of turmeric, two thirds of a tablespoon of ginger, quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon because we just want it to be a background taste, one teaspoon of black pepper, reduce the heat to medium low and let it cook while we prepare our harita base. For that, we need a medium onion cut into four, 20 grams of parsley, both leaves and stems, 70 grams of celery. I mean, celery alone, yeah, but celery in a soup, amazing. 20 grams of cilantro. And finally, 300 ml of water. Blend it all together. And then add it to our pot. Increase the heat to medium, mix everything, and then add the chickpeas and the lentils. And now, of course, the most important thing, 400 grams of tomato puree. If you do not live on the Mediterranean, I highly suggest you get some of that good Italian tomato puree. Make sure to close the pressure cooker properly. My mother once didn't close it right, and we ended up with meat and sauce all over the ceiling. And as a kid, I thought that was an odd place for her to serve us lunch. Cook for 30 minutes and see that rocker go round and round. In Morocco, we call it safara or the whistle. And that's how you know which of your neighbors is cooking something solid and which one is keeping it light. Make sure to shake your pressure cooker from time to time so nothing sticks to the bottom. And after 30 minutes, open the pot and add one liter of hot water, 40 grams of tomato paste, Close it again and cook for another 20 minutes. Meanwhile, we are going to thicken our soup by slowly mixing 50 grams of flour with 400 ml of hot water. Use a sieve so that it doesn't get clumpy. We also need to whisk an egg. And if you like your harira more watery, use less flour or more water. Just make sure you taste it afterward and adjust the salt. And if you have a gluten allergy, you can cook one small potato and one small carrot in your harira, remove them once they're cooked and blend them in some of the sauce and return the mix back to the pot. That should do it. Now that our harira is thick, add 50 grams of angel hair like pasta or what we call in Morocco sharia. Cook for another 10 minutes without the lid while constantly stirring and that's it. Serve it with some boiled eggs, sfouf, which is a delicious nutty sweet crumble, dates of course, and few lemon wedges. The first ladle is always from the bottom of the pot and then the rest from the top so that everyone get their fair share of meat and lentils and all that good stuff. Finish it with a squeeze of lemon and enjoy. Thanks again for watching. If you never had Hrira before, honestly, I can't recommend it enough. If you had it already, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'll always be happy to help and I'll see you next time or in another video. Take care.